Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and today we're gonna to be piecing together an off-the-map project. So something that is bigger than what your Cricut can cut. So we're slicing it up, and then we're piecing it back together. And I'll flip this over so that I can show you. This is part of it, and this is a different project. So you can see, like, we taped it all up, taped it back together, we're gonna to put it, piece it all together. Now here's the thing, well, first off, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I totally appreciate all the support. Um, all right, so now, this project is a little bit different because we have two characters. We have Pikachu and we also have Ditto. This is Ditto and Ditto is a little bit big. Like this is more than 12 inches. I ended up using a larger piece of cardstock. Um, but if we had, we ended up making this 27 inches. So if we had done it just even 26 inches, we this would be 12 by 12 cardstock. Everything else though is 12 by 12 cardstock because I know that's what we mostly have. So what I did was with Pikachu, if you know what Pikachu looks like, he's from Pokemon or she's, he's from Pokemon. <laughs> um, he's all yellow, he's difficult. So what I did was instead of doing one big character, I did two characters using the age nine and the name to kind of like piece together a bigger collection. So I've already done this one. We're gonna put together Pikachu and then we're gonna put them both together so that I can show you. Pikachu is, is gonna be pretty flawless. So let me move this over, bring this over. All right, so first things first, we always do the black background first. So I've already cut out the pieces. Let's put it down so that we can piece it back together. So as you can see, Pikachu, that's just his head. Um, let's see, what do we have here? This one's extra. So it's not like humongous, but, and let me make sure, I think it's this way. Um, but it was big enough, right? So here we go, all right. The way you wanna piece it together is, do you want this to be on the back side? The back side can have the tape, even though the tape is transparent, it's not. You can see it against the black. So the way I wanna put this together is always take two pieces, push them up against each other, like so, and then now tape it together. So you can see the tape is very obvious, right? So if we do it on the back side, the back side is gonna be on top of the foam board. So when we flip this over, you can't see it. We're gonna have the colored pieces on top, so it's gonna look really, really good. All right, let's finish this up. So, um, they, you know, this is, this is a good strategy for, I mean, we have lots of different ways to try to hide the seams, right? We have our deliberate cuts where we, um, I'll show you in a second with, with Pikachu's ears. We could have done that because the ears we could, we're used to seeing ears in, you know, as a separate piece of the face. Um, so it wouldn't be weird to do that. But um, he's still, ears, face, and body is all one yellow piece. So we are, instead, we're gonna make this smaller um, and, and make it a collection like a story. Um, I mean, there's, like I said, there's many tricks that we have to make something look seamless. You can either, you can have the seams, but you use glitter cardstock where sometimes you can't see depending on the color. Um, but in this case, this is what we're gonna do. We're trying something different. So here is, so see the deliberate cut, we could have easily sliced this off because it looks like it could be another piece but we're not going to in this case. We're gonna put all of this down. Now we do have a big seam right here, but that's where our nine is gonna go. So on this one, because it's supposed to be attached, I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna attach it just so that we know exactly where it's supposed to go. And like I said, on this one, even if I had used yellow glitter cardstock, you would still see the seam. It's so light and it's in the middle. Like there's no good place to slice this thing. He's um, central to the characters. I mean, central to the, the seam would be too obvious. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna have the nine right here covering that seam. He's gonna look amazing. All right, let's see. Okay. 
And you can see right now, like we have a seam right here. It's coming through and we're not noticing at all. And actually on this one, I'm gonna push this down a little bit to cover the seams right there. Now, I don't know if you remember from the design space tutorial, but I didn't get a good clean slice on this arm. On this one, I did. You can see it just looks pretty good right there. On this one, I didn't. And so I'm tempted to just take my scissors and just cut it like so. And on this one, I'm okay with that. So it's gonna look like this. We're not even gonna notice it. It's gonna look so good. Okay. Um, and then he's got like a shadow the way this is done. So we're gonna put these pieces down. And it's gonna look like that. So we'll do, you know, we'll do the orange pieces after because it just sits on top. I'm missing one little yellow piece right here. Where is that? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I am, I think because we're putting the other piece over it. So um, I think what we can do is at this point, we can glue everything together. Oh, look how pretty. I love that red. That red is so perfect. It's, um, it's like a shimmer paper from Cricut, but it's not glitter. I love it. Okay. Oh my gosh, so cute how he's coming together. Okay, we've got the pink tongue in here. Oh my gosh, I love these colors. Okay, let's see what else. We've got this little piece right here. And I think that's it. So you know what, we can decide whether or not we like the shadow. I'm not sure I like the shadow, but let's put the nine together. And the nine, we're gonna, we're gonna make it pop out a little bit. So we're gonna use um, use some foam tape, foam squares, cubies from Barely Art. They're really sticky. So you just want to press down though, because you want to make sure that every surface space of this sticky is sticking to something. <laughs> so we're activating it by pushing it down, adding pressure. And oh my gosh, this Pikachu is stinking cute. I love the colors. Um, let me tell you what color I ended up using. Let's see. I use yellow from Basil and it's Desert Mar Marigold. Um, I feel like it's the perfect, perfect color. All right, here's our nine. And then we're also gonna put that down on here, but you can see like it's gonna cover up that seam and it's gonna look flawless. In the back of this though, I am gonna put some cubies. Um, actually, I'm gonna use these big foam squares from the Dollar Tree, but I'm gonna double up on them so it's a little bit thicker. After we tape down everything or glue down everything, I'm gonna see if we wanna put some of that orange on. Um, it has the shadow in the image, but I can see now, I mean, it looks pretty cute as is. I don't know. I don't know what I wanna do yet. But we can put it on afterwards and then decide before we glue it down. Okay, I'm gonna leave that aside. Let's make sure that we like the spacing of everything. 
and then we'll glue down. Gosh, I love this file. It's so good. Okay, so what we can do is, everything looks really, really good. Um, I'm gonna take my glue and let's glue this tail down. So this is barely art glue and let's see. It may be clogged. I, um, I always forget to close up my glue. <laughs> so let's do that. Let's clean it out. Okay. And I love this precision tip. Can you see the glue? It's, um, it dries clear. And it's just perfect. All right, let's see. When you're gluing down, you just want to hold down for a couple seconds while it's drying so that it just doesn't pop up. Like the glue is also attaching to the top cardstock piece and the bottom cardstock piece. All right, let's put this red one together. I'm not a big Pokemon um, person, but this character is, I mean, it looks so good in person. I love the colors. Everything is turning out perfect. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the foot. And I'm going to do the, the hands next. So I'm kind of like forcing the, the pieces down so that the bigger pieces, I know exactly where it's supposed to go. This is so, oh my gosh, I just love the colors. I can't believe how good this looks. I mean, I can believe it, <laughs> but I can't believe it. Okay. Oops, I just lifted that whole thing. Okay, so if we like the way everything looks, let's do the cheeks next. I just feel like I have the perfect colors for this character. It looks so good. Um, this is the We Are Memory Keepers quick stick and it just helps me pick up things uh, without losing my place or you know messing up other other pieces.
so cute. All right, so now we've just got to put down this big piece. down and this little red piece I have an extra piece there's just for some reason it's got some discoloration I'm just gonna put one over it because I have an extra one there we go all right we're gonna put this down right here it looks like it's he's holding the number nine so cute Okay, so now what we're gonna do, oh, let's add the other pieces so you can see whether or not we like it. Um, we could put, okay, so this goes like this. So do we like this color? Does that look good? I don't know. <laughs> I can't. I cannot tell if that actually looks better or not. Okay. I might have to do like a poll. I'm really not sure how I feel about this. I'm gonna have to take a picture afterwards. <laughs> Cause I cannot decide. Okay, let's see. I can see the, um, I don't know. You'll have to tell me, okay? In the comments, let me know. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. The nice thing about this um, about this file is, like I said, if I don't, I can always add it on later and it won't have any impacts. So we can finish this project. So, all right, let's bring down, let's bring back the other item, ditto, so that you can see the two of them together. So this is what I would do. I would put ditto like this. So he'll actually, I would do it like this. Because he has a seam right here. And if we did it this way, even though there's black right here, we could just trim this. I'm missing a little yellow piece right here, which I don't think it looks bad like that. I'm just gonna leave it. Okay, so we're gonna do this, okay? So what you would do is, and I, I don't have a black board right now, so I'm gonna do it on a white board just so that you could see. Let me move all my little orange pieces off though for now. This is gonna be so, 
gosh, when they, you know, sometimes I forget because, you know, we just have the colors and it looks good, but this looks so much like it. I can't believe it. Okay, so we're going to put this down. And basically, you're going to grab a pencil. Let me close up my glue so that I don't... All right, got my glue down. Okay, so... So this, everything is on this board. Do you see? Like I was able to angle it so that everything's covered. So what you want to do is, we want to grab a pencil and let me see if I have a good pencil. There we go. And you're just going to trace the outline. We're just going to create an outline for the most part, and you know what? I should glue this together right now so that I know the spacing of this. So I'm gonna take this. Just so that I know exactly where this is. Okay, so we're going to cut inside the pencil mark. So we're not gonna see the pencil mark. But down here, we're going to cut right on the line because we want the foam board to be supporting. We want the, the character to basically be sitting on the foam board against the table. I'm going to cut out this piece because it's big enough, but I don't think I'm going to cut out this piece. This will remain black right there. And I think I've got everything traced. So I'm going to move this now. And I've got my Excel blade from, or I've got my pink blade from Excel Blades. Okay, yeah, you can see it. Um, and I'm going to start to cut this thing. So a couple things that I'm going to do, I'm just going to make this easier on me by getting rid of the excess pieces. So like, just so that it's smaller. Okay. So inside the lines, right? So... I mean, a sharp, nice sharp blade does wonders. Look how clean this cut is. So smooth, right?
Okay, down here, I want to cut on the line. This is the bottom. So I'm just going to be careful. And I didn't do a good job there. <laughs> I missed some pieces. But it's okay. I can see my pencil lines right here. I'm just going to go in a little bit closer. Look how smooth that is. Okay. And right now, Cricut is having a major sale and the self-healing mats are 50% off. So I do recommend getting one of these. It's, you know, it's just nice to be able to put a lot of pressure, cut on it, and you have nice smooth cuts because of it. You can really see the shape of this, right? It's so nice. Okay. Oops. Probably cut too close. Right. If you remember, I'm gonna cut out this piece right here. Oh, you know what? I'm doing a whiteboard. I don't have my blackboard, so I'm not going to glue this down unless I cut out the other piece as well. So we have just this middle piece right here. over and see oh perfect little wedge right here let's cut some more and get that piece out Almost done. Okay, let's see. All right, so let's bring back our piece. But look, I mean, you totally can see the outline, right? This part is pretty stiff too, which I'm happy about. And look at that. That shirt looks pretty good.
Let's see where we need to trim. So if we're keeping it the way it is, I would trim a little bit right here, cut in a little bit more right here. We could even leave this part. I don't think it looks that bad. All right, so there's a couple things that we wanna fix right now. I'm gonna trim this little piece a little bit more. So let's do that. I don't think it looks bad. I might just keep the white. Okay, so this, he looks great. I need to trim right there. So I'm gonna pull this out. Uh-uh, I'm recording. Close the door. No, I'm recording. Close okay, the door. The Close the door. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's trim this ear just a little bit. And let's see. I'm going to trim it right here. I'm going to trim just a little bit right here and right here and just a little bit right here. Just a little bit right here and right here. So let's see. Right there. Okay. Almost done. Looks so good. Okay. Um, you know what? I think I'm gonna trim just a little bit of the ear right here. Okay, so let's. And a little bit more right here. I mean, look at how sharp this blade is. It's so, so good. Just a little bit more. Sorry, I know. We're being very picky today. Okay. There. I think that's good. I'm going to trim off just a little bit right here. Okay. 
All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna start gluing this down. Just like that. So we're gonna glue the extreme, the extremities, to keep this in place. And I know if I add glue here, it's not gonna impact anything else because it's just the ear. I can still get to everything else. So we're gonna do this one as well. We're gonna do this little sign right here. And I want to add I'm just gonna add a flat acrylic stick right here just to make sure that it's not going anywhere. So now we can basically lift up and start doing it little by little. Get that part down. Let's see if I can lift up on this side. Oh my gosh, so cute. All right, that's all there is to it. Look at that. The whole thing is super stable. I'm so happy with it. I want to make sure this sign is down. I'm going to get a little bit more glue on the inside. cute is that oh my gosh I'm in love with it okay so now that you know all my tips and tricks <laughs> we can do all the characters now so here's another one this is 27 inches but it's two characters and we still had scenes we threw in the number nine right here and I absolutely love it so all right comments questions please post them below any special requests also here i will see you guys next time thanks for watching